It's nearly impossible to have a vital community and a vital economy if you don't have enough housing across the affordability spectrum. In 2017, in our firestorm, everybody from the very low income bracket on up to the most affluent in our community had their homes destroyed. We had lost nearly 6,000 homes virtually overnight. It just put our community into crisis. The fire was indiscriminate. It has been four years of disasters. The cumulative trauma makes it hard to do some of the big, big things that need to be done. We're not going to recover and we're not going to be resilient and we're not going to be vital if we don't have appropriate housing that is affordable for all. You've got to have enough homes. You've got to have housing options. You've got to make sure that disaster recovery resources are distributed more evenly. A friend let me know about a job that was opening in our Sonoma County Board of Supervisors office. I worked on some housing and homelessness issues and was involved in a couple of transformational projects here. One is the conversion of a motel to permanent supportive housing for formerly homeless people, particularly the most vulnerable. I also worked with stakeholders to construct a veterans village of tiny homes on county owned land. All of that whets your appetite to work on housing. I work pretty closely with Michelle. She's a real believer. She understands how intersectional housing is to all of the quality of life issues in Sonoma County. She understands that for us to be a thriving community that we need to solve our housing problem and she's dedicated to that and works hard at making that happen every day. The city of Santa Rosa and the county of Sonoma recognized that if they were going to do something to address the housing crisis as well as rebuild and rebuild in a resilient way, they were going to accomplish a lot more doing it together than if they were in their own silos, which is typically how local government works. The Renewal Enterprise District was born out of our 2017 fires. It's a collaborative, cross-jurisdictional, interdisciplinary approach to accelerating the pace of housing production aligned with climate goals and equity goals and land use priorities here in Sonoma County. It's transit-oriented, mid to high density, infill housing. It reduces vehicle miles traveled. It's more equity focused. It emits fewer greenhouse gas emissions and it's just a smarter way to use land. We got a grant from the Hewlett Foundation to start it up. They opened a recruitment for executive director and I was encouraged to apply and here I am. When you talk about housing construction and finance to do all these things, you're adding significant cost to an otherwise baseline project. What the Renewal Enterprise District hopes to do is come up with the delta, the gap funding necessary to getting that project actually built. So then it shows the banks that here we have an existing project, it's cash flowing, it's generating X amount of profit, you can fund these in the future. Even I misunderstood coming into this job that you don't just go to a bank and get a loan and build a housing project. For affordable housing, they commonly have six to eight different sources of financing. And it takes a long time to line up all those planets and it's expensive. We have projects in the pipeline that are ready to go if they could complete their financing. We have two main barriers to really developing housing in Sonoma County. One is public and political will, and that's our job, and the other is financing. Um, we have a financing gap or a, a math problem for developers here. And so if we don't have both, we can't get housing developed. We both need to be successful. The Renewal Enterprise District has really evolved to solving the financial piece of this puzzle. We've got our elected officials, my Renewal Enterprise District Board, and really more of our community than ever, recognizing that this problem is going to take collaboration and creativity and trying different things. So that water tower is part of the senior affordable housing development, but there are also mid to high density housing projects planned for these parcels over here. We're looking to create a neighborhood that is well balanced and has housing for everybody. You've got to be proposing housing that is located near transit to demonstrate the connectivity of your project, how it's going to reduce vehicle miles traveled, how it's going to reduce GHG emissions, and how it's going to contribute to sustainable, complete communities. In Sonoma County, we have a really strong environmental ethic. The environmental ethic is now starting to cross over into becoming a housing ethic. 
To me, that's why I get up in the morning. When we were awarded $38 million in grants for four different housing projects here and some other public projects, that felt like we just did something impossible. The idea of setting up a housing fund here that would have $20 million to invest, I love it when the impossible happens.